Guys, um, I've got another 45 minute journey to do today, so I thought it would be a good opportunity just to unbox and review the Virtual Travel Mug. Because in the past, I unboxed and reviewed the Pure, oh sorry, it's Touch, isn't it? Touch Travel Mug um, from Nespresso. And I did the same journey that I'm going to do today, so I, to see if it stayed hot and how long it stayed hot for. Um, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to unbox this and also just to compare it to this one a little bit, because let's face it, um, you may be buying it, not based on whether it's for a virtual or whether it's for an original machine, but actually whether it, on the design, you might prefer the design of one over the other. Um, so will it fit, will this one fit into any of the original machines okay? And what about, you know, things like that. So we'll just unbox this one now, we'll get going with that, and we'll give you a little bit of information about it. Now, there's not actually a lot of information on the Nespresso website about this one. It says it's double walled stainless steel, it holds 400 millilitres and it looks by the look of it it's got that same lid on top where it clips open nicely and um, what it does have is this rubble, rubber sorry rubble rubber bar around the middle and the special brand is there on the front and that I do like that feature it's going to be nice to hold and um, so that's good and it looks good so let's we'll put them side by side quickly so size wise it might actually be that it's thicker than this one because it looks a similar height, doesn't it? Um, but that did worry me a little bit because I'm thinking this one only just sits into my cup holder in my car. So I, I'm going to be testing whether this one sits in nicely as well. Um, we'll just open it up now and have a look inside. I'm just going to have some water and we're going to test if it leaks at all. So that's the inside of it. So we're just going to pour some hot water in now. And we're going to tip it upside, like seal it up properly, tip it upside down and give it a little shake around as well because we need to clean it on first use anyway, don't we? So this will be an opportunity to do that. So we'll tip it upside down, see if it leaks. My wife's closed it, not me, so we know it's, uh, I might close it up a bit too hard, I don't know. There's no leaking coming out, so that's good. We'll shake it a little bit just to be sure. Yeah, so no leaking again, just like the um, Touch Travel Mug. The lid on it, can it be operated with one hand? Yeah, it can. And it's got inside, there's like a little, you can see a little rip here. I've got this capsule ready to make a coffee, but there's like a little channel there. And I mentioned this on the other one, it, it kind of just helps it to guide the coffee into your mouth a lot easier. Uh, I find that really good actually, I like that. Um, but which one do you prefer design wise? Let us know in the comments below. So just a, a few. This one says it's six, the touch one is 16 centimetres tall, 6.5 centimetres, um, actually I can't see, six, is it wide? 6.5 centimetres at the bottom, that's it, bottom. We put B for bottom. <laughs> and uh, 8.5 centimetres at the top. But it doesn't give the dimensions of this one on the website. So I thought I'd just quickly measure it, but it does, I mean, it's, had, it's fairly identical in height. There's a little difference. It's slightly bigger, so I'd imagine that's going to be about 16.5 or something like that. But we'll give it a little, yeah, just about 16.5 high with the lid on. Um, width at the top, again similar, about 8.5, maybe a little bit less. And at the bottom, it seems, yeah, at the bottom, it just seems to be a bit wider, doesn't it, than this one? So we'll see how that fits into the cup holder. Is that? It's a bit difficult to measure them exactly, but uh, what we're going to do, we'll just take the lids off and I'll show you, because obviously this fits nice, it's built for the virtual machine, so with the lid off, fits nicely on there, and it looks good, doesn't it, uh, that looks really good actually, it look, that, and that nice big wide design looks really good on the virtual plus, but will it fit under any of the others, we already know from our past videos that they don't fit under the Magimix, even with the shelf off, but it will fit under the Pixie, um, if the shelf's up on the settees, just in case you're buying it for design purposes and you want to use it with your original machine, it fits nicely under the settees. And obviously this one's slightly smaller, so it's the same for the touch travel mugs as well. They fit under those machines nicely. So we'll just pop the lid back on there now. Um, and what I'll do, I'll make, I'm going to do exactly the same as I did on my last video. And I'm going to make a coffee in the virtual this time though, because obviously it's designed. We'll just empty the water out, give it a clean out. And we're just going to make a coffee on the virtual machine, Virtual Plus. We've got a review of this on the site and we've done a, a few videos where we compare these to the original machines just in case you fancy having a look at those. 
Um, but I'm going to set that off. I'm also going to set the Aeroduno off. I like my extra froth milk. I'm using the Four Tordo capsule. I like the Four Tordo capsule myself. It's um, got a nice kick to it. I do wonder actually, it's called Four Tordo. Is it, it's a Grand Lungo capsule. Does that mean they're trying to like emulate a Core Tordo coffee with it? Um, that's something I've wondered. But I'll just set this one going now as well. So the journey's about 45 minutes. I'll stop off along the way just to see if the coffee's still hot at various points along the journey. Yeah, the price of it, it's actually a pound dearer than the Touch Travel mug. It's, the Touch Travel mug is £18, so this one's £19. And then they also do an Alto Travel mug for those big, big coffees, the 414 mil ones. Remember, this is a 400 mil capacity, I think we said, didn't we? Yeah, 400 mil. So this won't fit an Alto coffee. That's an important point to know. You'll have to, if you like Alto coffees, you'll have to buy the Alto Travel mug, which is a little bit more expensive again. I think it might be twenty pound that one. You can get a discount if you're an expert or an ambassador member of twenty percent. Remember. So what will that take off it? About three pound eighty is it off of this one? The flash has just gone off there. Before. Just trying to think which one I prefer now, because this one was going to be for my wife, she's the virtual drinker. Um, but it depends, we might have to, we'll have a little, maybe flip a coin. I'm sure if she wants it, she'll get it if she wants it. Right, so my Aerochino milk, I think this might have finished, is this finished a little bit early? So if it comes out a bit milky, you'll know it's there, uh, because it's been sat there for a little bit. Better get on with it or else it's going to be really milky. It's red up this virtual, this um, Aerochino. See it's coming out a little bit milky but loads of thick froth still on top. So I'll set off, I'll put the lid on nice and tight. Just test it one more time. No leaks, no drips which is great because I've heard, I've read people online have commented and it's not just me, you can put these in a bag and put them in your bag and it doesn't leak all day. Um, whereas some of some of the travel cups you get, you know, you stick it in your bag, it rolls upside down and everything's dropping out by the end of the day. You've got coffee stains all over it by the end. So that's when it can be worth paying. I know it sounds a lot of money, but if you're using it every day, cost per use, you know, it's, it's well worth the money, isn't it? Um, but we'll try it out now and see how the heat fares along the journey. Okay guys, so I'm about half an hour into my journey now. Um, I've stopped off, off, off at the same point that I stopped off at last time when I did the Touch Travel Mug review, just to prove that this is a real journey. You know, it's not a, not a journey that I'm making up. Um, however, last time I stopped, it was about 45 minutes because it took me a bit longer to get out of the house. So we're about half an hour in now. One thing I've noticed, um, it doesn't sit in the cup holder in my car. It is that, it's got a wider bottom than the Touch Travel Mug. Um, it does sit on top of it and sort of perches there. Um, and I do have a box behind, a little bit of a, a small area behind the cup holder where I can sit it. So it's not a problem for me, but could be for you if it doesn't fit your cup holder. Um, so do try and get maybe some exact measurements off Nespresso. Uh, I'll try and measure it later when I get home and I'll leave the dimensions. If I can get an exacter dimensions, I'll leave them in the comments area below at some point. Um, I do like it though. I like the cup. I think it's a really nice, solid design. Let's say it's double walled. The coffee is red hot. Um, which we'd hope for after half an hour really with a 19 pound mug um, but I'll try and do it after about 45 minutes and uh, also after about maybe an hour and 20 like I did last time to see if it's still hot um, and leave that with you but I like this rubber bit I like the feel of it, the hold of it to me personally already I prefer this one to the Touch Travel Mug um, but it's all personal preference that isn't it which one do you like? Let us know in the comments Okay guys, so I'm now about an hour and 15 minutes in uh, to my journey, I'm, I've reached my destination, my place of work um, after a beautiful drive through the forest of Borland and uh, Yorkshire Dales see a little bit of around us, around us there but anyway, back to the cup well, it's still, I'll just test it now bear in mind, when I'm operating it with one hand um, I have got pretty big hands, I'm quite a tall guy um, so you may be able to operate with one hand, but it's something to keep in mind if you're a bit smaller. I'll ask my wife later on if she finds it easy, and uh, again, leave it in the comments if you if that will be useful to you. Um, I'll just take a little taste now. Yeah, that's still it's still really hot. It's like a coffee you'd have at home, um, so it's still nice and hot. But one thing to consider as well is that I am using 
uh, the virtual coffee in there. So if it's original, um, obviously you've got less, less coffee volume, but if you're using the mug size coffees equally, you'd expect it to stay hotter for even longer, I think. Um, one thing I have noticed on a separate note is just um, the Fortado capsule I mentioned earlier. It does taste, it doesn't taste quite as good as it did when I first got the machine. Now that could be a different batch possibly of the coffee. Um, it's not McDonald's, is it? Um, we, you know, we're dealing with farmers and proper coffee beans, so they might have a different batch um, or a different harvest. Uh, or it could possibly be that my machine needs descaling. I know a commenter did mention that in the past that when his coffee starts to taste a bit bitter through the virtual plus, it's probably time to descale. So I've got a descaling kit and I've, I did promise to do that video, so I will be doing that soon a descaling of the virtual plus. So if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, but yeah, what do I think of the mug? I really like it. I think personally, for something you use every day, it's worth paying that little bit extra to get quality. I prefer this one to the touch mug. Um, I find it nicer to hold. I like this rubber bit here in the middle um, I, it doesn't fit in my cup holder which is a problem and might start to annoy me after a while but if that's not going to be a problem for you then I can definitely definitely recommend this as a very good travel mug doesn't leak it's really really good and um, so we hope you found this useful apologies for a little bit of traffic going by right now it's hard to find a quiet spot uh, on a sunny day like this um, but yeah please do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more of our videos check out our other travel mug review the one of the touch travel mug and um, check out our other other videos with tips and tutorials on Nespresso uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and we really do hope you found this useful uh, thanks for watching bye for now